case I need to take notes. No, I lied. Okay. Okay, we're going to call the meeting to order. Um, we have myself, Leanne Overy, uh, Clarence Casper, um, let me see, Christine Powers, John Scott, and Harry Watson. We have enough that we can go forward. Clarence, I think when you were running this committee, they liked you better. I don't think you... I ever ran this committee, so. <laughs> <laughs> this is the first year I'm on this committee. Oh, okay. I thought you ran it. Okay, let's get busy so we can get these all out of the way. Um, I got to running... quick before we get to the regular meeting. You know. Yeah, right. Good thing your fans clean up there, John. <laughs> well, I had to move the camera. There we go. There we go. Oh, yeah. that's much better. We can see more of you. Oh, jeez. How is that better? <laughs> hey, hey. <laughs> okay. First thing that we have on the CIPs would be facility improvements. And I believe those are at the park. Yes. Um, the Quantic Plains Park. The Quantic Plains Park. Did everybody have the opportunity to watch Mr. Barry when he explained that at the council meeting? Can you give the number of what we're looking at? 4A. 4A. I'm sorry. It's 4A on, well, on the page. We have this 150. Um, and here. Yeah, sixty. Feel free to have go ahead without me. <laughs> <laughs> I did I said well, anyways. This is under Oh, you mean the number? Okay, would you like to move the number? <laughs> I will move a number of $90,000. Anybody want to second that? Second. A second. Thank you. Okay. Does anybody have any questions? There you see us, so we can explain anything you might like to know. But Yeah, I, I just. I have a question on the geo grids. Um, what's what what's the surface of the parking lot? It's not asphalt, isn't it? Is it? No, oh, it's it's a gravel parking lot right now. Gravel. Yes. And and the advantage of the geo grids is over gravel. Well, the gravel is is compacted right now, so it doesn't uh, dissipate the water as well as it would. When if we had a geo grid in, because what happens is you we're going to excavate the parking lot, uh, put in uh, crushed stone and the geo grid, and then put aggregate in there so that it will actually help to drain uh, the parking lot and, and begin to address the issue of the flooding that takes place uh, both in the parking lot and the area adjacent to the parking lot. Between the parking lot and the and Route One, and and this is kind of the first step of what we think is going to be a bigger project. Our, our resiliency manager has applied for a grant to look at a study to actually create like a giant bioswale uh, or a marsh, if you will, in the area between the parking lot and Route One to help absorb the water when we get these significant rain events. Well, as long then, as it's not a mosquito farm. And, and the geo grid will also help to stabilize the, uh, the parking lot, because right now when it's wet and people are driving back and forth to get potholes and with the geo grid, that would just help to 
support the parking lot so that we're it's not constantly filled with potholes. Okay. I've also I've I've seen those where they actually have grass growing in between the the the, the grid protrudes up to the surface and uh, yeah. and they have grass growing between them. Yeah, and, and, and for actually, to drive over it. Yes, and, and we're actually looking at that a very similar project at uh, Esker Point Beach uh, on on the Cove side. We partnered with the Net Connecticut Nature Conservancy and got a seven hundred thousand dollar grant to actually tear up twenty eight thousand square feet of pavement and put in just what you're describing. Excellent. Any other questions? Yeah, I, I do. I oh, well, not a question, a comment. Um, I remember when we built Pequonic Plains back in the mid '90s. Uh, how surprised we were when we had that built. That used to be a kind of an overgrown field. Leanne, you probably remember. Um, but I remember how surprised we were when that was built. Uh, how how low it is to sea level, uh, which is uh, probably back then we didn't know how to do this sort of stuff. That I think is probably it's, it's probably a great thing to be doing. Um, you know, and you, you know, some people call them vernal pools around the area, but it's it, it's not. It's just because it's because it's low and it doesn't drain. And uh, uh, I, I think it's great that we're doing this. Um, places, uh, it's like driving by, driving through a place that was hit by cluster bombs or something. You know, sometimes. So I'm glad we're doing this. Okay. Anybody else? Okay. Well, Okay. All right, shall we put this to a vote? Okay. All those in favor of 90,000? Aye. 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 Okay. Aye. Aye. Anybody abstaining? Anybody no? We're good to go. Moving on, we will go to A D community con yeah, connectivity program. And let's see, are we looking for forty thousand this year? Yes. I put on the floor uh, number of forty thousand. Watson second. Thank you. Now, this is the one that there was a lot of controversy about whether well, roads really wide enough, and you said that you felt they were adequate to put the pipe lanes. Uh, no, this no? is to build a stone dust path. Oh, behind the library. I'm sorry. Behind the library, yes, yeah, so. connecting both this building, Thrive 55, with the library. Going to go out on the backside of the athletic field uh, and then go back and actually behind the library next to the paved portion of the library sidewalk in the library so it would be a it will be a loop uh, and the reason that we're proposing this is in this building we have various walking programs and exercise programs and being able to take those programs outside when the weather's nice um, mm -hmm. Right now, people would like do laps inside the building. I think they have to go by around. Being able to get outside close to, to this building and, and be able to do that will just help enhance the programs that we have. And community connectivity is actually in the surveys that we've done recently. Um, community connectivity is the number one need that residents have. This is kind of one small step that we're addressing. Does that kind of walkway hold up pretty good? It does. That's actually mm -hmm. what we're what exists at the point of the that's park. Plane, right? Oh, that's yes. that's a stone dust. That's stone dust. It's yes. Great. It, great yeah. Well and it's it, it does. Yeah. Okay. 
Can I make a comment again, Leanne? Certainly. About uh, going back to the Quantic Plains again, uh, the path was kind of an afterthought at the end of that that uh, process of building the Quantic Plains, and uh, we were actually really surprised at how much it get, gets used. And, and go buy it now and look at how much it's getting used. I mean, these things really get used, and um, it gives people a, a a nice surface to walk on and direction and all that sort of stuff. I think. I think the Navy actually uses the Quantic Plains because it's actually a half a mile. It's exactly what they want to do. You know, they want to do a mile and then they use that. So uh, that's the end of my comment for this one, Leanne. Thank you. Okay. Let's see. Uh, Mr. Cohen, no, this for proposed for FY24 is just, just the 40,000. Okay. Yeah, these others are appropriate future. and scheduled out for okay. the future. Thank you. It just went black. Sorry. Um, <laughs> we got a little panicky. <laughs> okay. We'll take a vote. Everybody in favor of A4. 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 B. Please. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Okay, we have five in favor, no abstentions, no no no's. No. So that passes. All right. Now we're we'll going on to the big old one. Uh, we're going to be doing Four C golf course improvement plan two eighteen and for two thousand twenty four. I'll move one hundred twenty nine thousand. I'll second. Okay, we have, a, have it on the floor, and it's been second. Move it. I think that. Move that. Very possible. Okay. And then I put it, he put it on I second. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, you want to tell us a little bit about this one? Sure. This, uh, what we're proposing is to continue making renovations to the golf course. Our, our focus has been primarily on bunkers. Bunkers are, we do a golfer satisfaction survey every two years. And one of the questions that we ask is, you know, please rank how different aspects of the course, how you felt different aspects of the course, what condition. Bunkers historically have uh, been rated the lowest, partly because what happens is somebody's playing golf, and they the ball into a bunker, they try to hit it out, you know, the bunker's filled with sand, and they try to hit it out. Uh, they end up spraying sand on the face of the bunker. And over the course of time, the bunker gets deeper and deeper. And what it does is it slows down the, the pace of play, which is an important part of golf. Uh, you don't want to uh, kind of extend the length of the game just because guys, players are trying to get out of the bunker. So we've been focusing on the bunkers. Targeting the bunkers was also identified in a study that was done years ago. And so what we're proposing is to do, like it says, expand and rebuild both tees and uh, bunkers on three and five. The reason that we're doing work on tees is what was originally designed average number of rounds per year was around 10,000. We're averaging 30,000 rounds. So we're having to rebuild the keys to be able to better withstand the additional play in this neighborhood. I think I, I did share with the council when we were going through this, I mentioned the golfer satisfaction survey. One of the questions that we asked is how much do you spend when come to play at Shanikasa. Totaling all that up into about $400,000 a year, it gets brought back into the 
gas, food, and lodging. Okay. Yes, um, so obviously you've ignored my suggestion of getting rid of all the bunkers. <laughs> that would be cheating. <laughs> You're not supposed to hit the bunker. You're in real shape tonight. <laughs> Just trying um, to speed up the uh, the play of the game. <laughs> Question that I have is: some of the other things that have been voted on and approved are they underway, like the bathrooms and the bathroom on the golf course? And yes, in fact, we just had a bid meeting today. Uh, the first thing that they are going to do before they can do the work on the bathroom is. There's a crawl space underneath the kitchen, mm -hmm. and the pipes are wrapped with asbestos, right. asbestos in the soil. And they hired a contractor to come to mitigate that, and then they can start working on the bathrooms because the pipes are in this crawl space. And they really can't work on that until they can make it. So, yes. I thought asbestos is kind of just coming up. Well, uh, the, the architects have come up with a plan to seal all of that, oh. and that's the work that's beginning May 15th. And then we already have all of the plans uh, for the bathroom. So it's get that done first, and then we'll be able to start on the bathroom. Ready. Lord knows they need them. I have just one question. It's just uh, personal for me. Yeah. Uh, the second floor of that building, how come we've never used it? What time will you look at it and tell me? Sure. Is, it, is there enough ceiling height? In My understanding to... is that there's enough room up there to have a uh, special events room. Oh, hmm. okay. And I, I think it's a shame that we've never done anything to open up more space now. Yeah. yeah. I could be wrong. I've not ever been out there. Yeah, I've never been out there either. Um, um, I think staircase. Hey, Eric, can you speak to the second floor? I, I've actually, I don't think I've ever been up. I don't know if you have, if you know anything about it. This is Eric Morrison, the yeah. golf course superintendent. I haven't personally been up there um, because they installed the drop ceiling. So I think. All up there is just all the duct work and everything for the HVAC system. So I don't think there's any space up there. The only space that would be available for a special event meeting room is that back room that we've talked about before, where the old lockers are. Well, maybe we should take a walk through both. Yeah. yeah. See what. Well, we've we've walked through that back room a number of times, uh -huh. uh, but I've never I've never been upstairs. Open up the whole thing, thing. <laughs> right out, be like a restaurant, just right. paint that stuff that's up there black and give it business. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks, Eric. Thanks, Eric. You're welcome. All right, so I didn't do a photo of that. No, not yet. Oh, sorry. <clears throat> I get talking, I did not do that. Okay, we have a figure on the floor of 100. 29,000. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Watson, aye. Okay. Mr. Scott? I said aye. Oh, thank you. Missed it. Aye for me. Aye for you. Five in favor? Nobody opposed? Nobody abstaining? I think that's called unanimous. <laughs> oh, you are good. <laughs> you come down here for the meeting. I, I oh. am. I, I I will be there for the meeting. Oh, okay. I just had All a little time crunch to get okay. there. For the investment ADA compliance. That's that's like a, you got to do. Sounds like you have to do. Yeah. Um, Watson, I move one hundred thirty-five thousand. Thank you. Um, I'll second any, it. Thank you. <laughs> um, is there any 
particular area we have to be working in? Well, we've actually been working in a number of different areas uh, throughout town. Uh, in 2013, we had a consulting group come in and look at all of our recreational facilities and with an eye towards were they compliant? Did they meet ADA standards? Right. So we have this a long list of facilities that don't, and we have been slowly working towards making more of our facilities ADA compliant. I think it was two years ago we did work at Esper Point Beach, the bathrooms there, and we've done work in other places. This particular project is uh, focused at, at Calvin Burroughs. There's both a concession stand there and bathrooms, and there needs to be renovations made to both in order to make them compliant. And I can just give you one example. So the concession service window is up too high. So somebody in a wheelchair, uh, you know, the window height would be kind of right at head height, and it needs to be. And it's also being built so that a uh, remodeled so that somebody in a wheelchair could actually be inside and be able to get around to help serve because they're so it's, it's serving both. Uh, and it's also making changes, renovations to bathrooms in order to make them. We had an architect come up with all the plans, and, and this is the price that they afforded for it. Okay. Any other questions? No. Nope. Ron, are you working? <laughs> uh, <so> okay. <laughs> All those in favor? Aye. 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 It's unanimous. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay, moving along, we will go on to. Four D, no, sorry, four. four yeah, you almost got me, Jill. Four D and four F Street Tree Inventory. Oh my God, I want to see that. <laughs> this actually was already approved through Harvard. Oh, okay. Mm. So did your budget go down by whatever amount you had had in there? I see zeros here. Right. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Okay. So do you need so this is all ARPA. I just put that on ARPA money. Yeah. Doesn't make any difference for the learning phase. Remember that one book? Okay. 4H, No Link Neighborhood Park. Um, that was. It was zeroed out by the council. Was it? Well, I think I know probably why they did it, but at the same time, we need to do something over there. Maybe we could come back to this during the year and try to. I'm a little torn and hurt to put a number back on the floor. <clears throat> So I'm not going to tell you what to do. I have two attorneys who have told us that um, if the council has lowered the number, we are not allowed at the RTM to raise the number back up. Yes. Sure. Yes, <laughs> I'm not either, but I'm just saying two town attorneys have stated that opinion. All right, guess we just passed by that one. Well, I think you need to pass the rest. Okay, I can't do that. Somebody want to make a motion of zero? Just for the sake of doing things the way we have to do them, and I uh, don't agree with it, but I'll move zero. Thank you. Second. All those in favor? Zero. Aye. 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 Watson. Okay, I think you asked your name. I abstain. Oh. 
Okay. It made her minutes harder. All right, we'll move on then to pickleball courts. That's, that's, did they take that out too? That's hard. Where are they going to go? That is a. We're looking at a couple of different options. Up behind the community center and also adjacent to the parking lot. You know who really wants medical ball? Pickleball courts. Wait, come on. You ought to call him and ask him where he'd like to have a oh. <laughs> <laughs> I said a meeting the other day. He said, pickleball stand. Pickleball. Yeah. So I'll, I'll mention that. There's uh, a lot of interest in pickleball. Oh, it's huge. Yeah. 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 We used to be Stonington, I think. I don't know how many more courts that were then over there. Yeah. But it would be fun yeah. to you. Yeah, we we put in a system where two of two of our tennis courts can handle four pickleball courts with the uh, uh, these nets that you just roll out. And that one for Cove. That's one for Cove. Yeah. And they get a lot of play. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Jay, biggest problem with that thing. Break their legs, break their arms. <laughs> okay, what did the council do with the uh, hockey arena? This is the heart of money. Probably the only way we ever going to get us better. Do you have any idea how much money we did get from Mark? Yes, two hundred fifty-four thousand. Two hundred fifty. So that's probably just for the beginning information on it. No, no, that's to we're going to replace the dashboards with the boards that go around. They're all wood. Oh yeah. And okay. Where you know, the wood is just we got that system on college 20 plus years ago. They were getting rid of it. They were upgrading and we were fortunate enough to get that system. We, you know, over the last 20 plus years, the boards have deteriorated. There's a lot more flexibility in them now than there should be. We have spent some money to try to firm them up. So it would be replacing the dashboards making some renovations to what's happened is the posts that support the boards are set in concrete because concrete reacts differently to frost and rain and everything that the pavement does. The, the area around the posts have actually risen. So posts all the way around. Around every single post, there's cracks, yeah. which when mm -hmm. you're skating along, and these are big cracks. So you're replacing the dashboards, doing some remodeling of the existing surface. And we're also looking at putting lights up to nice. extend these. Nice. So that would be it would, all of that money is for construction. Any seating? There is seating out there now. There's, uh, Yes, there is bleachers out there. And you would really call that a, an arena? That's <laughs> what they call it. Yeah. Okay. I, I didn't I didn't give it that name. The mm. that name was given before I got here. Okay. <laughs> yes. I'm looking for the big building. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, we're not, mm. we're not going to have yeah. concessions. concessions. So, okay. You know what do we need to do on that? Just say there's nothing for nothing to do with your equipment. Thank you. Um, okay. Right. Feasibility, feasibility study. Say a lot of working. us want it. What's that? Yeah. A lot of us want yes, it. Yes, we do. Yes. 
but you can't say that word. I know that uh, one of our participants tonight has been for years trying to get a pool in Groton. <laughs> okay, we have uh, we have a zero for that. Who put the zero in? Not me. <laughs> uh, the town manager put the zero in. There's no discussion amongst the council members. Hmm. So discussion, we've been talking about this for an awful long time. Yeah, I we have. We have. Um, I had real hopes when I thought we were gonna get one at Mystic, but that didn't mm -hmm. happen. Well, I guess there's nothing we can do on it except maybe speak out at the meeting about our own particular feelings about it. it seems as though we're moving in the right directions with a lot of our recreation. Got and so they you know, originally we, asked for ninety five thousand. We do a feasibility study, but the feasibility study would have included, you know, my definition of an aquatics facility could be completely different than yours. Mm -hmm. You want the three hundred foot water slide. I want the lazy river. So the feasibility <laughs> study would have looked at what is it that the community. Really wants. Right. What would it cost to build? Mm -hmm. What would it cost to operate? And what kind of revenue would it bring? Then the town could make a decision like, yeah, I I don't want my I'm making up numbers now. I don't want my taxes to go you know, to three hundred dollars to pay for a pool. So you know, until we have that information, we really can't make that decision. So right. the feasibility study. Would have answered all of those questions and allowed the community to have control of this time. No, that we're not. And right. you know, over the last 20 years, the community has said the pool is a priority. And mm -hmm. you know, we're spending in the high school and parks and rec department probably about ninety thousand dollars a year. To Avery Point, uh, so that using, the, their using their pool, and that's limited access. Mm -hmm. uh, the recreation department, we pay Avery pool in the past. Uh, we pay them like thirty-four thousand dollars a year. They have access to the pool, limited access Saturdays. And Sundays. Mm -hmm. and and Mark, could I ask a question? Yes. yes. Does that 90 grand include transportation? No, that's just to use the pool. And they don't, at Avery Point, doesn't even provide lifeguards. Right. So we, we're paying for lifeguards and paying for the use of the pool. So the use of the pool doesn't even include staff. So, uh, and, and I think the, the high school is paying Glenn. I think the coach, I thought I heard her say $50,000 a year to have access to, to the pool. Or okay, so that, that I'm sorry, that, that money is in addition to the 90 grand that you're saying. No, uh, no, I, no. 90 is, is the 34 plus the 50 plus that we're paying, that the high school is paying. So it's right around 90,000 a year. And okay. then whatever they for transportation, uh, you know, to to get over to to Avery Point and back to the high school and back to the yeah and I and I don't know what those numbers are. Well, I mean I I I had three swimmers in my family, so I I I'm familiar with how they use it in the high school. So yeah, yeah. yeah. So uh, I'll try again next year. We went we we visit friends down in Jersey quite often, and they have this beautiful complex. How it's paid for, I'm not sure, but there's three types of pools. Yeah. It's like a splash pad, and then the middle, like, and right. windows with the slide, and then adults only black wing. Yeah. And then above is a track. Yeah. And there's rooms off to right. the side of the pool where people rent these rooms for birthday parties, birthday parties which yeah. they do all that stuff. Yeah. And that's like, yeah. the place is a madhouse, but yeah. very well set up. Yeah. And, and we, 
and Representative Watson, I think you were at this meeting probably seven or eight years ago. We reached out to all of the different organizations <laughs> to be interested in a pool, and then we had somebody come from the hospital. And they were like, we would be sending people mm -hmm. to, a, if there was a therapy pool, oh, yeah. we'd be sending, and you know, oh, we'd yeah. be charging them for that. So, you know, mm -hmm. there's an opportunity to make money. Yeah. Right. Um, and I'm not saying that it's going to pay for itself, but the feasibility it's study help. would help you figure out all of those, all so of those unanswered. Pay for like uh, the yeah. that. Right. Yeah. So I would um, love it. On top of that, Mark, I mean, there, there's a lot of things that aren't included in what you're saying. For instance, uh, uh, if you have somebody that wants to dive at Fitch, uh, you can't do that at every point anymore. They got to they got to go all the way down to East Lime or to Waterford. Waterford has a diver board too. Um, yeah. uh, so uh, I, I think I'm going to be croaked by the time we have a pool in this town. Yeah, I would be. Yeah, I was. <laughs> I, really, I was surprised I that, the pool. that the most recent needs assessment, it, you know, pool was, was right up there. And one of the yeah. questions we asked, we said, uh, if we gave you a hundred dollars that you could spend on, you know, recreation, right? They were willing to spend the most money out of that hundred. Mm -hmm. It's not just. You know, I want. I think that backs up the argument that they they want it and they will pay. Something that's like one of the mm -hmm. best knock effect. Yes. Good exercise and yeah. They even have what the YMCA. They missed it. Right. <laughs> that makes me. Yeah. Yeah. Well, oh, oh. I guess that kind of wraps us up for. This evening, uh, do I have a motion to adjourn? So motion, motion to adjourn. Uh -huh. <laughs> Thank you. So we are adjourned. It is it's 12. Thank you, everyone. We'll Thank see you all see. later. See you later. Uh -huh. All right. Later, Gator. That's right. All right. That's all right. That's all right. It's better than <laughs> I put in. I have, um, can you take this off the plate? Sure, you want to stop.